The good news is that retribution is on the way. After years of being stuck in development hell because of studio executives with no vision for the potential of comic book movies, Deadpool is actually moving forward. 20th Century Fox has officially announced that the movie will be released on February 12, 2016, and we couldn't be more excited it now seems like everything is moving super fast with the film, but fans still have some pretty massive questions. Who is actually making this movie? What will it be about? What will it be rated? We have all this info and more in the latest edition of our What We Know So Far Guides, so read on and learn everything you want to know about Deadpool. The director, unless you've been following the development of Deadpool for years and years like us, there's a pretty good chance that you have no idea who Tim Miller is. To make a long story short, he is the man who will be making his directorial debut with the Deadpool spin-off. After rumors of Robert Rodriguez potentially helming the project died down, Miller wound up landing the job back in April 2011. Best known for his work as a VFX artist and the creator of VFX company Blur Studio, Miller doesn't have many feature credits to his name but does have a claim to fame as the guy who made the sickeningly awesome title sequence for David Fincher's The Girl With The Dragon Tattoo or, as I like to call it, the James Bond intro that took too much heroin. The start, when the Deadpool movie was first greenlit, one of the biggest questions that immediately popped up was in regard to the status of Ryan Retnold's relationship with the project. Fortunately, the actor officially announced that he was in back in December of 2014. This is definitely a good thing. Not only is Retnolts a super fan of the character, and played the vital role in the development of the script. If the movie had moved forward without him, it would have been pretty unfair. The script, in early 2010, Zombie Land screenwriting duo Reese and Paul Wernick were just coming down from the height of their first massive Hollywood success when they were given a very special opportunity, the chance to pen the Deadpool spin-off script. Working directly alongside Ryan Reynolds and matching the voice of the character to the actor, they worked to produce a script that was true to the mark with the mouth from the comics, he doesn't stop talking. He constantly breaks the fourth wall. He is nearly indestructible and his cancer ridden. Face is constantly hidden by a red and black mask. An early draft of the script leaked online in 2010, providing Ragnarok fans all the details they could want about the Deadpool movie, including a structure that goes back and forth and time between the tale of how the character's origin and how he lives his modern day life. That was years ago, however, and it's hard to say how much the whole thing might have changed in the time since. One thing is for certain, Reese and Wartnick remain incredibly proud of their work. The rating, given that Deadpool is an amoral, psychotic mercenary, he could find a pretty comfortable home in an art rating. After all, if you are swinging around twin katanas and firing semi-automatic weapons and not seeing any blood, something is very wrong. This is a viewpoint that has been shared by X-Men franchise producer Lauren Schiller Donner who told me back in 2011, if we make the movie it needs to be a rated R film but has been a point of controversy since the film got the green light. Rumors have suggested that the reason the project is moving forward is because the filmmakers found a way to make it page 13, but those comments have been disputed both by screenwriter Red Reese and Deadpool co-creator Rob Liefeld, both of whom have said that the vision for the rating hasn't been 100% determined yet. Ryan Reynolds has said that he is hoping that the movie can be R-rated but has gone on record saying that they are making the movie that they want to make. Colossus Given that the characters' rights still belong to 20th Century Fox, 
Deadpool can easily be slipped into the existing cinematic world of X-Men movies, and feature crossover characters, but there remains the question of how much crossover we can actually expect. The door is seemingly wide open for this kind of thing, but there is one mutant in particular who is strongly rumored to appear in the new spin-off, Nikolai Vitrosputin aka Colossus, who has been played by Daniel Cudmore in X2, X-Men United, X-Men, The Last Stand, and X-Men, Days of Future Past. The character was written into an early draft of the Deadpool script as a supporting character, and while it appears that the character will be in the movie, there is one major change being made, Daniel Cudmore will not be returning. The actor announced the news himself, and presumably the hunt is now on for an actor to take his place. Connection to X-Men Origins Wolverine X-Men Origins Wolverine wound up having a very important impact when it came to stirring up fan fervor for a real Deadpool spin-off movie. Unfortunately, it was because comic book fans were royally pissed off about how the character was presented in that film. Obviously the Deadpool movie does still have some connection to X-Men Origins. Wolverine thanks to Ryan Reynolds' theoretical involvement, but instead of being a part of continuity it is more being reduced to just the punchline. Yes, the new film will actually be taking pot shots at its predecessor. It has been reported that an early draft of the script included a joke involving the X-Men origins, Wolverine Deadpool action figure and that there are multiple references to Hugh Jackman. This all fits absolutely perfectly with DP's habit of breaking the fourth wall. Angel Dust Angel Dust has been all but 100% confirmed to be one of the new mutants introduced in Deadpool, and she will likely have an extremely action-heavy part. How do we know this? Because she will be played by MMA fighter and Haywire star Gina Carano. In the comics, Angel Dust is a member of the Morlocks, which is a clan of mutants that literally lives underground. Her mutant ability allows her to have complete control of the adrenaline produced in her body, and when she has enough juices going she can have practically superhuman strength. Just think about the mother who can lift the car to save her baby. T.J. Miller T.J. Miller has been earning quite a bit of acclaim recently thanks to his voice performance in the Oscar-winning Big Hero 6 and his recurrent role on the HBO series Silicon Valley, but he will be making his comic book movie debut with a supporting part in Deadpool. The character that he will be playing in the film has not yet been revealed, but the smart money says that he will be playing Weasel. Deadpool's sidekick slash weapons dealer. He is a bit on the selfish side, but always comes through when really needed. Morena Batron Like the case with T.J. Miller, Morena Batron's role in Deadpool has not yet been officially revealed, though trade reports have pegged her as both the female lead in the movie and a romantic interest for Ryan Reynolds' titular character. The Firefly and Homeland star beat out a number of talented actresses for the highly sought-after part, including Taylor Schilling, Crystal Reed, Rebecca Rittenhouse, Sarah Green, and Jessica D. Rowe. Release dates UK February 5, 2016 Belgium February 10, 2016 Argentina February 11, 2016 Australia February 11, 2016 Azerbaijan February 11, 2016 Brazil February 11, 2016 Colombia February 11, 2016 Germany February 11, 2016 Denmark February 11, 2016 Mexico February 11, 2016 Netherlands February 11, 2016 Portugal February 11, 2016 Russia February 11, 2016 Singapore February 11, 2016 Romania February 12, 2016 Sweden February 12, 2016 USA February 12, 2016 